to see you. Uh, so the US says it's going to take back the weapons that it's given to the YPG. How can they ensure that this is actually done? Um, well, once the YPG has the, this sophisticated amu uh, ammunition and they have this heavy weapons, I don't believe that the United States would be able to take them back. Uh, the YPG intention is very clear. They want to have a, to extend their control to the petrol in the region after they take Raqqa back from ISIS. Uh, they will have a control of the sea as well, so that's a, a, an outlet for import and export. So the petrol from one hand, the sea from the other hand, and the Euphrates River as a source of energy, a, 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 along with the ammunition they have from the United States, that would lead to absolutely an independent out, a statelet that it would be hostile to Turkey, and that's what Turkey is worried about. They will not be able to take this weaponry back again. That's why Turkey said from the very beginning that friends don't give enemies of their allies weapons like what the United States did to the YPG. Well, the U.S. has made this promise, uh, presumably to try and placate Turkey. Uh, we know that the U.S. has always viewed the YPG as an ally uh, in their fight against Daesh. Do you think it's now taking more seriously the threat that the YPG poses to Turkey? Well, Washington is trying to turn a blind eye to one set of terrorists in, a, in order to take out another set of terrorists. The YPG is clearly hostile to Turkey. Turkey is one of the NATO uh, members and is the closest ally to the, the United States in the region. Turkey has pledged to go on with the fight against ISIS and they prove that they are very effective in the, uh, the war in the northern uh, stretch in, the, in Syria when they pushed back ISIS from al Bab and other cities. But the United States uh, consistently uh, is uh, insisting that the, uh, the YPG is the most effective and indispensable partner to take ISIS out from, the, uh, from Syria. Now, what's happening, I don't believe that they're trying to take any or placate uh, Turkey or taking their concerns into uh, serious cautions. What they're trying to do is to take a proactive measure before Turkey is going to take uh, measures on the ground. What Turkey is, ha is doing now, they've sent a, a, a enforcement troops to the north of Syria. They have, uh, to, to, they have to do their best in order to prevent and preclude the YPG from having their independent uh, state lit in the north. That's why Turkey is, the, the, the United States and Mattis is trying to placate Turkey in order to de-escalate the tension that Turkey is about to take serious measures on the ground against the YPG. When it comes to Raqqa, that is the priority at the moment for the U.S. But after Raqqa is reclaimed from Daesh, uh, what do you think is going to happen to the YPG? And what, what does Turkey want to happen? You know, first, a, a, a last year, Amnesty International published a report, 38-page report about uh, Syria, titled with uh, we had no elsewhere to go, a displacement and demolition in the north of Syria, where you have horrible testimonies from villagers, from people in north Syria, where they're saying the YPG is uh, forcibly evicting them from their villages, from their uh, towns. So what Turkey believes is the intention of the YPG is not only to have a state in the north of, Tur uh, in the north of Syria, they also are working hard to demographically change the, uh, the landscape, the population of the northern Syria. They change even the names of the cities. Mampij, they change the name into a Kurdish name in the north of Syria. They're trying to extend their control on the whole region. And the point is they're very close to the PKK, the outlawed uh, organization that has been fighting Turkey for more than three decades now. That's why Turkey is very sensitive about the issue and believes that the United States should take this seriously. Otherwise, they would leave them no choice but to take their unilateral actions against them. But I believe this won't happen before Raqqa is liberated. Ahmed, thank you. Ahmed Al-Burai there in Istanbul.